assalamu alaikum students i hope you are doing well so today we are going to discuss about the regulation and controlling mechanism of immune system because this is very important to control the excessive immune reaction in our body so basically as we know very well we have a two major systems uh, the cell mediated immunity and the humoral immunity cell mediated immunity it leads to the helper t cells subtoxic t cells suppressor t cells while humoral immunity consists of the b cells and the antibody formation so as we know very well in the maintenance and regulation of the immune system these both system can play the major role so basically we have the preprocessor areas of the antigen that can bind to the helper t cells which are derived from the cell mediated immunity and this is the antigen which is bind to the helper t cells processed antigen and it binds through the major histocompatibility complex major histocompatibility complex is a protein which is present on the macrophage cells these are the basically macrophage cells it is present on that and it presents the antigen to the helper t cells and it binds to the, to the helper t cells through the antigen specific receptor when it binds it releases some sort of lymphokines which will attract the other b cells and then e cells can also bind with the antigen and further mod modified into the plasma cell and then plasma cell will release the specific anti antibodies which are IgM, IgG, IgA and IgE. These all antibodies have their own importance and they perform their function according to the infection. So this is very important how we can break these antibodies as per infection and other one they will also these lymphokines will relate to the proliferation and differentiation of these b cells so there's also some modified and maturation mechanism towards the b cell and with that there was also the cytotoxic t cells and suppressor t cells cytotoxic t cells have other role they are very important as the helper t cells will all, all although only bind to the processed antigen and perform its function while cytotoxic T cells basically secretes the whole forming proteins which are called the perforins and they were punched round holes in the membrane of the attack cell and they caught the they caused the direct destruction of the invading cell by sensitized lymphocytes so cytotoxic T cells have their major mechanism in destruction of cell while suppressor T cell as the name indicates what they do basically suppressor T cells are basically they controlling the functions of both cytotoxic cells and the helper T cells. It is believed that suppressor functions serve the purpose of preventing the cytotoxic cells from causing the excessive immune reaction that might be damaging to the body's own tissue. So therefore we can say the suppressor, the suppressor cells are the major regulatory cells of our immune system. So this is how the immune system can maintain in our body. Thank you so much. Learn always with your basic concept. Thank you.